This week's passage from John begins innocuously enough. Some Greeks come to the disciples and ask to see Jesus. The disciples then go and tell Jesus that an audience has been requested with him. But then we get this bizarre response. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Seems like a rather odd and perhaps overstated response to a simple request, doesn't it? But it really isn't. A civil and meaningful dialogue between Jews and Greeks in Jesus' time would have been difficult at best. And Jesus is saying something incredibly significant, probably more to his disciples than anything else. He's saying, I don't care how difficult it is, and I don't care what price I need to pay to fulfill my mission. See, Jesus' mission was not simply to be a teacher, not simply to be a minor reconciler or a Jewish revivalist. Jesus is the creator and judge of all the cosmos, and his mission is nothing less than to reconcile all of creation, to draw all people without a single exception to himself. This sounds beautiful on paper, but how difficult it is for us to really accept it. I imagine for his friends and disciples to accept that Jesus' mission, his salvation, was meant as much for the Greeks as it was for them was an incredibly tough pill to swallow. And in our day of partisan division, it's just as tough a pill to swallow. He came just as much for the Republicans as for the Democrats, for men as for women, for the old as for the young, for the coastal elites as for the working class of the middle part of the country, for us in America and for people halfway around the globe. It doesn't matter. He came to draw all of us to himself. And this can be so hard for us to swallow. We always seem to think that there's some category that's outside the boundaries. And Jesus keeps on pushing back and saying, don't you dare. There is no one beyond the reach of my saving embrace. It is coming to terms with this huge and wonderful and yet sometimes inconvenient fact that is the work to which we're called in these latter days of Lent. So as we approach the days of awe, the days of observance of Jesus' passion and resurrection, let us let our hearts settle into this truth, especially when it comes the people and groups that challenge us most.